Heywood Field looking fantastic on this evening of day five of competition for the US Olympic track and field trials, really defining that road to Tokyo for certain athletes. And for those still competing, which we have much to come, so much to come, they're looking for that spot in Tokyo, like RJ Wilson. The American record holder. We've already seen one New Jersey star. I think we'll get through to the semifinals. Here's another Neptune, New Jersey's own Ajay Wilson. She was third at the World Championships two years ago. Ajay's up against uh, namesake in <laughs> Ali Wilson. Ali will start in lane two. Here she is. And she's set a personal best every time she stepped on the track. She started the season at 2.02 is down sub two now and will need to continue that trend. As we've talked about, this 800 team is gonna be very difficult to make. Michaela Meyer is in lane five, Roshan Willis in four, Sarah Hendrick, Julia Risk, Lauren Johnson and Skylin Webb. Keep an eye on also lane eight, Sabrina Sutherland. She's from Cardoza High School in Queens. That's a School that produced the little Mohammed and Phyllis Francis. So Ajay Wilson second from the extreme left in the pink top, bright yellow shoes starting to come across now. How will Ajay construct this race? What's it going to look like? And you know, when you're an American, sometimes the landscape can change quickly. Ajay Wilson has been the dominant. 800 meter woman in America and then all of a sudden here comes Raven Rogers beats her at Worlds and now here comes a thing most so the landscape has changed for the American record holder she's on the outside in third and that's Ali Wilson who has the lead and she said she struggled a bit with nerves being here at the Olympic trials which this is like no other event it's not like practice it's not like indoor it's not like any other meet but she doesn't look like she's they're troubling her now as she's in the front and looking really strong 59.34 for that opening lap. Ali Wilson has run sub two minutes in the 800. So it's Wilson and Wilson, Ali and Ajay, first and second. And I think Ajay has said, okay, I think now I want to get a little closer and close the gap down the back stretch. And one thing you'll see when you watch Ajay Wilson compete, she never looks distressed. Whether she's at top speed or just below it, she always looks comfortable. You see Virginia's Michaela Meyer get into the picture now in third. Only the top two will quali qualify automatically. They've gone through 600 and 130. Roshan Willis is there in the red top. And then Lauren Johnson. So the run to home now, there's some positions changing and there's pressure on the Wilsons. RJ goes to the front. Ali's in a little danger here because Michaela Meyer but Wilson comes back. So RJ Wilson wins. Ali has to really hustle to get there for second for that auto qualify. And that's experience from RJ Wilson who felt them coming and said, okay, let me put a little bit of separation between the two women behind me. She tried to really ease the pace back when she went to the front, but only the top two are guaranteed to be in the next round. And RJ didn't want any trouble. And you like to see when an athlete is able to turn on the Jets that late in the race, she was able to separate in the final five to ten meters and looked really, really in control. So there's a look at Allie Wilson looking up, and she goes up. I see Ajay behind <laughs> me, which is where I figured she would be. But she did well in the final lap. She had the lead with just over 100 meters to go. And you see Ajay Wilson saying, okay, I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to get to the front and if anybody else wants to come and challenge me I have to hold them off I don't want to play any games with being outside the top two now they start to push a little bit but the top two are the Wilsons Ajay and Ali and you'll often see the athletes in the endurance events have a look up to them when they come through the final turn you'll see their eye line go up to the left because at the southern end of the stadium here at Haywood Field there's a big screen and they want to have a look it's like their big rear view mirror they want to see who is where thumbs up from Ajay Wilson. She didn't make the final in Rio. She would love to go all the way in Tokyo. And Ajay and Ali Wilson, they automatically qualify for the semi-finals. And as we get deeper into these heats in the women's 800, uh, we will keep you in the loop on time as to who the other qualifiers are.